What's up guys? I'm gonna walk you through how I make frame guards. So I had a customer request for a Team Suzuki replica frame guard for the right hand side. This will be uh, like the 99 2000 RM250. So what we have here on the bench is the cutouts for the actual frame guards. So I designed these in CAD. Uh, sent them to a water jet shop. They cut them out for me. This is a uh, 90 thousandths thick 5052 aluminum And then on the other side, this is the cutout for the form Whoops. for the form I Still have some work to do to this uh, I got to round all these edges over This will be a hammer forming process so when I lay this guy over top and you flip it over you'll notice that the form is actually smaller than the cutouts themselves and this gives me just a little bit extra material to um, forward to form over the edge So I've gone around and uh, radius these edges. Still got a little bit of work to do probably to get them a little bit smoother, transition a little bit better. And I tapped these holes. My original plan was to use these holes to secure the guard when it's sitting on the form. And then I remembered that I had to make these holes four millimeter because they stretch when uh, when I press the dimple that um, uh, there's a dimple feature that recesses the bolt so um, when I put that press in there it stretches the hole out to six millimeter uh, so I had to shrink these holes up which isn't going to allow me when it's still in this flat pattern to um, secure it onto the form. So my new plan, I made these little pins and these little pins are going to go into these vent holes and they fit fairly snug. So pop the two pins in furthest away from each other. It might be this one. And then I'm just going to put a 2x4 on the top and clamp it down. So I finished up hammer forming the edges and I dimpled where the screws go through so there's a little pocket there and I've got some recessed button heads. I went ahead and uh, I bent this material up for where the, uh, the brake pedal sits behind it. And then I also had to uh, make this radius here a little bit larger than it was on the form. so. I'll make those adjustments for the next one. This is more or less just a, a test piece to get things going. Here we are, start to finish. We've got the form with the centering pins. We've got the water jet cutouts and then we've got the finished product. So I gave it a brushed look, went over it with the orbital sander with some 180 grit sandpaper, then I hit it again with hand and just went in the same direction, putting that nice brush look on there. 
going to be making some more. So if anybody else is interested, hit me up.